Check this out, got a tarantula. Good size one too, look at this. Oh, it's onto us. I'm gonna move in and try to coax it out. And you may be thinking to yourself, this is a living arachnophobic nightmare, but, ooh, almost ran right up onto my face. Nothing makes the hair on your neck stand up like the thought of a spider crawling up your back. Trust me, I know. I've been there many times in an attempt to demonstrate that spiders are not out to get us. Worldwide, there are more than 45,000 spider species. They come in many shapes, sizes, and every single one of these eight-legged arachnids is considered venomous. I can sense your arachnophobia meter climbing by the second. But if you live in the United States, I have some good news. Aside from the black widow and the brown recluse, there isn't a single spider species that is considered dangerous to humans. Hold up, wait, coyote, aren't you forgetting about the tarantula? That giant, hair-covered, fang-wielding, desert-roaming nightmare? Those spiders are huge, like Hollywood movie huge. And did we mention the hairy part? Are you telling us that these spiders are harmless? For the most part, yes. To prove it, on this adventure, we are heading out into the starlit desert of Arizona to get hands-on with one of these supposed nightmares. People who live in the Southwest are typically used to seeing tarantulas. And if you love spiders enough to desire seeing one yourself, there's a good chance you will spot one skittering across the parched rocky substrate if you head out for a night hike. You good? That is a huge wash. Well, this is gonna make walking a lot easier. All these embankments here, let's check this out. Walking on the moon. Yeah, this is great. So, something like this, the sand is really dense. It'll be hard for us to walk on. It's thinner towards these edges, but all these embankments are gonna be areas where animals are traveling up and down. They can go up into the underbrush and they can use this little ridge line right here to move from spot to spot. What do you think? Which direction you wanna go? That way or this way? Uh, let's go that way. This way? Yeah. All right, let's do it. When the rains pour down, we're talking hundreds of thousands, probably millions of gallons of water, all converges down into a riverbed like this. And the water can be, you know, 10 feet high, just ripping through the desert. And that water all soaks back down into the sand incredibly quickly. So it completely reshapes the landscape every time there's a monsoon rain that pushes through. But for us, this is perfect. Far fewer cacti and better opportunities to quickly move through the environment to find animals. All right, Mario, let's uh, keep having this way. Check this out, got a tarantula. Tarantula. Good size one too, look at this. Oh, it's onto us. Mario, come up slow, it's really close to this underbrush. If you wanna take a look at it, I'm gonna have to gently coax it back out into the open. Can you see it? Come up slow, it's like right in front of you here. And you look at a spider like this and immediately you think, oh, arachnophobia, I'm terrified of whatever this is. Oh, he's getting up into there. Oh, let me bring it back out into the open. Actually, use my forceps. This is very cool. I was hoping we would come across a tarantula tonight. you to go. Let's go hunt this. Hunt you right out in the open. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. 
So that right there is a desert blonde tarantula. And you may be thinking to yourself, this is a living arachnophobic nightmare, but whoa, almost ran right up onto my face. Now all it wants to do right now is get away. There we go. Now if I let it walk from hand to hand, there we go. Look at that, that is one big spider. One of the most common spider species you will see out here in the Southwest. When it comes to defenses, this spider is armed with very large fangs, but not a very potent bite. Actually, what's more potent are these little hairs on the back of the abdomen. And when they feel very threatened, what they will do is use their hind legs to flick off some of those hairs. They're called urticating hairs. And if those get into your eyes or into your nose, they're very, very itchy. It'll burn your eyes, it'll burn your nose. So any predator that comes into the environment says, oh, this looks like a good snack, you get a face full of those hairs, trust me, it is not going to be a comfortable situation. When it comes to this being an animal that you need to be afraid of, it may look hairy, it may be covered in fur, and it may be armed with fangs, but this is one of the most docile creatures you can come across. And these spiders simply just want to navigate the desert looking for things to feast upon. And when it comes to the toxicity of the venom, a bite is no more potent than that of a honeybee sting. And the odds of you ever being bitten by a tarantula are slim to none. They use the bite as an absolute last defense and usually only in an instance when they feel as if they are going to get squished. So letting the spider just slowly walk from hand to hand like this is completely safe. Now, I would not recommend that you ever come out into the desert and pick up one of these tarantulas, but oftentimes people have them in captivity and they're used to help people get over their fear of spiders, to help cure arachnophobia. Because you can see once it's on your hands and moving slowly, it's actually a very cool, very calm experience. Now, despite the fact that this is a very large spider, it's rather creepy looking with all those hairs. On a scale of one to five, when we're talking about dangerous or potentially deadly desert dwellers, this tarantula only ranks as a one. Very cool, definitely one of the creepy crawlies I hoped we'd come across tonight. See you later, big guy. The Coyote Pack has been witness to me performing a number of dangerous wilderness stunts and it's responsible to say that holding a tarantula poses risks. These spiders can and will bite if they feel threatened. So while their venom is not lethally toxic, it's definitely not something you want to experience. If you see a tarantula in the wild, it's okay to get close, but it's always best to admire these spiders naturally without trying to pick them up. Hey, Coyote Pack, if you are afraid of spiders, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I helped fellow YouTuber Collins Key overcome his fear of these fuzzy arachnids. And don't forget, subscribe and join memberships so you can brave alongside me and the crew on our next wild adventure. Well, it's figured out at this point that we are not predators. This we are not so, trying to eat the spider. So cool.